Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm going to be starting a new little series that I'm going to be doing on my channel as well, which is my room sets. Basically, the idea with this series is instead of showing you like 10 bathroom designs, 10 office designs, I'm going to show you a house's theme and come up with 10 different rooms that you could put in this house. So today I'm doing a special for my first episode of the series and I'm doing Halloween. So my first room here is my kitchen. Now I have used dark oak for the flooring and my walls. I have made a never brick trim and used dark concrete for the rest of the walls. I've used a lot of wood and tried to make these room designs really old looking. I've also tried to make it look more dilapidated by doing stuff like coarse dirt and plants and redstone for fake blood and stuff like that. Now I do have a little theme going on with these rooms of doing purple and orange just because it is Halloween. And another detail I added here is just putting some of the wood planks up in the wall to kind of have that appearance when you see old houses. But and the plaster is ripped off but you can see the wood in the walls so that's what those are as well. Now my next room is a dining room. So here you can proudly see my purple and orange Halloween theme. You don't have to do this but I think it's a nice kind of nod to the tradition. I have some skulls and heads on my dining table like they're eating heads. I've got some holes in the roof here. Now what I've done is simply made a few holes and then put the never brick fence in there and that just kind of makes it look like the roof is collapsed in that you can see the roof support but there's no plaster covering it so that's a nice little detail you can add to. I've got some wall scones here made of atom frames, torches and stone slabs and again lots of mushrooms, blood and also coarse dirt and the dead bushes to make it have a dilapidated look. My next design is a living room design. So this one here, I've got some chairs featured around a fireplace. And something else you can also do as well is leave some holes in your windows to make it look like they're cracked and broken and to really have that old feeling. Now, all of my room designs in these room set videos, you don't have to make them as big as they are. You can make them small and just have a fireplace and couches here. Maybe you just want couches and no fireplace. The idea of this series is I'm showing you all the rooms and you can just slot them into your builds. Maybe you have a build that you have a three bedroom house so you can just replicate my bedroom idea three times or maybe you just have one so you can do it once. The idea is that you can build whatever house you want and you can just put these in. So this design here is my bathroom. Now I have used that red brick to kind of have like a subway tile look and put some never brick throughout it. I've tried to make it quite like hideous looking because it is Halloween so you are wanting quite horrible looking rooms in a way. I've made a bath, I've got some purple towels there, again a wall scone, some plants and a vanity area. Very simple little bathroom that you could do. Whereas this design is my master bedroom. so. I have made a four poster bed here just with spruce and dark oak and I've tried to make it look like it's kind of collapsing in the top corner there. I've got a seat at the end of the bed, I've got some curtains again. You would have also noticed with my curtains they're all kind of patchy and like all over the place it's because I'm trying to make them look broken and ripped apart kind of stuff. I've got a carpet, some more blood. And then my shelving at the back here on my wardrobe, I made out of spruce logs, but I've made a hole in one to make it look like the door disappeared. And I've also made a shelf look like it's falling over in there. Again, just trying to really add to that dilapidated old look with this build. Now this design here is kind of a joke. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the Office movie, but if you have, comment down below and let me know. Now. I've made an office here but I've kind of done a joke of this office in that I've used snow blocks to make piles of paper because you know people joke about the horror of always being surrounded by work so this is kind of like a joke little office. It's got the same theme as the other room so you don't have to have all the paper but I've tried to make it like someone's stuck in their own hell of being surrounded by all their work so that's my little Halloween theme for my office there. 
probably not, not the most Halloween thing theme, but I think it's funny if you guys have ever had a job out there, you know what it's like to be surrounded by piles of your work, so. Now this design here is my children's room, so I've tried to make this room a little bit more fun looking just because it is a child's room, but at the same time I've tried to make it quite grim, so I've got a head here that's sitting on a redstone block surrounded by redstone dust to make it look like the child's playing with a, like a severed head. I've got like zombie heads, skeletons, I've made their bookshelf look a little more broken up. Again, broken window. I've also got a plant growing around in the room and into the ceiling. Just again to get that look like the house is old, no one lives here anymore. And the same thing with the carpet. I've gone for like blue, black and grey to kind of make it look like the blue carpet's been discolored over time and also made it patchy. Now, this room here is my recreation room, so if you're going to have Halloween, why not have a cultist recreation room? So, I've kind of made like a cultist satanic circle on the inside. I use the purple terracotta block, which works great for a situation like this, just because it's got that perfect cross shape. So, I used a mix of terracotta and the concrete. I've got some pumpkins. Now, in this room, I actually put patchy bits of like planks in the windows so make it look like it's boarded up and in this recreation room they try not to let a lot of light in. I've got some brewing stands and then a crap load of redstone torches around just to kind of make it not too bright just because torches will completely bright in the room. I've also got a pumpkin in the back corner at the front which you can remove to make the room a little bit darker if you would prefer. Now this room here is my hallway. I thought this would be a good room to include in this series as well, just because sometimes people have hallways in their houses and they have rooms coming off the hallway. I thought this could be a good way to show a design for this as well. So I've made this one one block higher just to add a bit of height. I've got some armor stands, blood, I've got the cracks going up the walls as well. I've got the holes in the flooring, all the kind of stuff in the other one. but. And I've also just added some roof details to kind of have that hallway look that you would have. Something else I've also done in my builds is just place picture frames right against the floor and that just makes them look like they're falling down. But my final room is my garden room. So if you have a garden for a Halloween build that you're wanting to transform, this could be a good way to make a really simple dead looking garden. All I've done is I replaced all the grass with pathway block and then I've gone patchy with the pod sill and coarse dirt. I've used a mix of dead bushes, grass, tall grass, tall ferns, and also short ferns for my plants, if you could say plants. I made a really dodgy undercover pagoda here. So I didn't even measure the shape properly, I just placed it down so it's all wonky, but that's what you want in Halloween. And I also made a dead tree in the corner for that little bit extra. But there you go, so there are 10 rooms that you could build in your house for Halloween. Or maybe you're building a haunted mansion but you're a little bit confused on how to build your interiors. This series is a good little way to show you that. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on which room is your favourite and if you'll be building any of them for Halloween. But like always guys, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you!